Team St. Lucia for the first Global Robotics Challenge left the island this week for Athens, Greece to represent the country in an Olympics of a different kind. The all-girls team and their robot were unveiled ahead of their trip to Greece. Each year, the first Global Challenge poses a grand challenge for youth of high school ages in an effort to inspire them to pursue their passions in science and technology. Team captain Alana Boski says the team is excited to put their robot to the challenge and make an improvement to St. Lucia's participation at last year's challenge. All of us have, have had some experience with scientific endeavors in the past, whether that be with coding or building, putting things together, doing science subjects at school. And for us, this was a chance for us to really see how it can all be put together into something that we may not initially expect the opportunity to arise here in St. Lucia. So that's something that for us is a pretty cool deal. The first global challenge is an Olympic-style international robotics competition which invites school students from 150 countries around the world to build a robot and to put together an instructional video which explains a game for the year. The game has a general theme which is more um, world-scale, higher impact. In this case, it's feeding the future looking at a way of efficient energy production, efficient food production. However, in the game itself, the way the game works is that our robot needs to be able to pick up a ball, transport it to what they call a nexus goal, which is almost like a basket, and then needs to be able to place that ball in the basket and so on and so forth. At the end of the game, the robots need to be able to stand on a platform. All the robots from all the countries um, need to be able to stand on a platform to balance it out, essentially representing the world working in harmony. Optronics General Manager Anna K. Badu and Robotics Mentor Kevin Clark, both first Global Robotics Olympians, are managing and mentoring the 2024 team in preparation for this year's Robotics Challenge to the theme Feeding the Future, focusing on sustainable food systems. They are both accompanying the group of youngsters to Greece. As you know, St. Lucia has quite a long and um, intensive history with agriculture, so it was very suitable for us that the theme this year was feeding the future. So the girls, in addition to building the robot, um, other aspects of the competition that they have participated in would be the social media challenges on their social media pages. Since I am already familiar with the process, um, I could give them guidance as to what went wrong in our time and you know what they should not well, how they should approach preparing for the competition. The team has received much needed assistance from the corporate community, including the National Lotteries Authority, Optronics Limited, a full service software solutions company, and the St. Lucia Electricity Services Limited, Lucilec. Senior Manager, Corporate Communications with Lucilec, Omari Frederick, says as a company that is built on science and technology, the support to Team St. Lucia for the 2024 Robotics Challenge was a natural one. Supporting our young people in STEM is a critical one. We believe that, that these are the future problem solvers. They are the ones who will find the solutions to the modern day challenges that we face and the challenges that have to come. They are the ones who will be reaping the rewards of their problem solving. During this time, they'll be honing their skills in research, experimentation, analytics, and problem solving, and we're very happy to be part of that. This is the fourth year that St. Lucia is participating in the first Global Robotics Challenge and the first all-girls team fielded for the competition. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.